welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us but if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so so that we can bring you the latest news as they happen and together we shall work together with our great leader Mazen Namdekano IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality he said, Buhari could not sleep after the coward Nigerian army fought back against the Fuladi terrorist bandit who had the boldness and attacked one of the most secured military formations in Nigeria, the Nigerian Defense Academy. Some of the soldiers refused to obey the order from the Fulani presidency not to fight back. The Nigerian soldiers fought back because their lives, which is not a priority to Buhari, was at risk. The commandant of the Nigerian Defense Academy was summoned by the Fulani Nigerian government and he was ordered to fish out the Nigerian soldiers that disobeyed the Fulani presidency order and defended the Nigerian Defense Academy. And they were asked to subject them to severe court martial because those that they killed during the attack are Fulani terrorists and not Biafran youths. The Fulani Nigerian government arrested more than 10 of the Nigerian soldiers who took part in the defense of Nigerian Defense Academy and who killed the Fulani terrorists. And they were told that they were only permitted to kill Biafran youths and not Fulani terrorists. According to reports, scores of Fulani terrorists engaged Nigerian troops in a gun battle near Nigerian Defense Academy. A group of Fulani terrorists has engaged the troop of the Nigerian army attached to Operation Thunder Strike 12 Punch in a fierce battle around Labi General Area along Kaduna Beningwari Road. No fewer than 55 heavily armed Fulani terrorists out of the adversaries, numbering about 75, were neutralized when the gun duel lasted at the place which is close to the Nigerian Defense Academy. The Director of Defense Media Operation, Major General Bernard Onyuko, disclosed this at the Defense Headquarters while updating newsmen on various military operations carried out across the six geopolitical zones of Nigeria. It will be recalled that the Fulani terrorists had last year gained entrance into the Nigerian Defense Academy residential area in Afaka, Kaduna, and killed two soldiers, two officers, while one was abducted. Onyuko explained that the Fulani terrorists came under heavy airstrike during the duel, which aided the ground forces to effectively engage the Fulani terrorist bandits and neutralize them. The air components carried out a interdiction on Fulani terrorist enclaves in south of Damari in Beningwari local government area of Kaduna State after a painstaking air reconnaissance mission on terrorist Fulani enclaves. This is a big lie. It is just an audio air raid. Buhari imposter at Asurok never gave order for any air raid against this Fulani terrorist. The only order to attack is in Biafra land.
not in the Fulani enclaves. Not. They are just lying. Trying to deceive the gullibles. Trying to make them think that the Fulani Nigerian government are not only attacking Biafrans, that they are also attacking Fulani bandits, terrorists. And that is a big lie. The Fulani Nigerian government and their compromised Nigerian terrorist security forces are so obsessed with blackmailing IPOB and Eastern Security Network after the Fulani criminal Nigerian DSS and Ebubago hoodlums disrupted local government council elections in Enugu State. The Fulani hoodlums in military uniform called criminal DSS. You know, they always look for ways to turn around to blame IPOB for all the atrocities in order to blackmail IPOB and demonize them. IPOB and Eastern Security Network would not stoop so low to attack the elections organized by the Zoological Republic of Nigeria because Biafrans are not interested in the evil elections but are interested in referendum and Biafra restoration. The Zoo Nigerian government can organize their fraudulent elections, but they should leave IPOB and Eastern Security Network out of all these their stories. The Fulani terrorists and the Boko Haram terrorists are freely attacking Nigerians with confidence and boldness because they know that the coward Nigerian military are too weak to engage the Fulani terrorists in the gun battle. You know, people who have not been paid their salary and uh, all their allowances, they don't have food to eat. It is only when they send them to Biafra land that they feed them very well. And, you know, they feed them very well and give them their salaries and allowance. Only in Biafra land. That is when they are compensated. And that is why a lot of them prefer coming to Biafra land. Because they know that Biafra youths are armless. They, don't, they are unarmed. And when the Fulani compromised Nigerian military comes into Biafra land, they pay them all their salaries in advance and uh, their allowances in advance. They pay them. Give them good weapons. You know, the family of Ekene Abaziem, who was missing for some months, was shocked to have seen him being paraded along eight other Biafran youths as IPOB and Eastern Security Network operatives by the Imo State Criminal Police Command. The Abazim family cries out that their son got missing while going to work and that he is innocent. You know, that's how the Fulani controlled Nigerian security agencies. They go around in Biafra land. They just pick Biafra youth, going to their legitimate business. After they would have uh, swindled their families, they will now parade them as IPOB and Eastern Security Network in order to massacre them. You know, when they massacre Biafra youth, Buhare and Malami are always happy because they have serious hatred against Biafrans. And that is why I keep wondering, all these Biafran politicians have not been around the criminal murderous Buhari. They don't know what they are doing. That man does not love them a bit. He hates them. He wished them dead but he's only using them against Biafrans. 
But one day, their eyes will be open. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.